Hello everyone and welcome back. So in today's video I wanted to show you a quick setup to do your CGI integrations using Audini, Solaris in, and rendering with Karma. So it's nothing too complicated but it requires a bit of a setup. So let's go through it. So I'm gonna disable the render and come back to my scene. As you can see I have this dome uh, that I just modeled from a sphere and in order to visualize it better in the viewport I'm going to press D and go into optimize and as you can see I have this this box here checked to remove back, back faces so it's just back face culling in this case and it's useful to have it in the viewport and when you are projecting the HDRI to the dome that way you can see what's inside so I'm, I'm taking advantage of the background plate and building an environment to be projected so in this case in the environment setup i'm starting with a sphere generator and cut it in half in this case and polyfill it bevel it and subdivide it then i'm doing a uv project in this case to polar and i just rotate it around so i can fit it to the back plate so in this case i also need to come here optimize and remove back faces and make sure you reverse it otherwise you you will see the exterior and not the interior uh, so <clears throat> you can then uh, attach a UV quick shade and load your HDR or uh, a quick JPEG if you want to if you want it to be quicker. Then I'm splitting in here the grounds that I'm going to use to to catch the to cast the shadows and also the environment which I'm going to use to to have the HDRI projected on. So that's the environment setup. Then I'm doing a render geometry settings on the dome and setting it to, let's see, in the render visibility, I'm setting it to not cast shadows, neither be visible to primary rays, so not visible to the camera. Uh, what, what else do I have in here? I'm loading my model, which is this pickup truck that I did uh, last week uh, using the modeler plugin, but I might come to that uh, in another video. Then I have some shadow casters, which are just these uh, vegetation alphas, let's say, that I'm using to project some of the environment around. This is a really cheap way of doing it. I can show you actually how I did it. So I just traced just traced uh, opacity texture, then deleting the small parts, iterating through them and moving to the center and do a basic remesh, then copying two points with a line, and playing with the scale mostly uh, the not the p scale but actually mostly the scale which i'm affecting the y component so i can stretch them up and down so it casts uh, some nice shadows on the and reflections on the truck um, so we have our environment and our uh, render geometry settings then in the back plate I am setting the ground as the primitives to project the backplate and affect the and cast the shadows. And I'm also not rendering the backplate, so I'm diving into the background plate and in the render geometry, in the render settings, I am setting the use background to off. Otherwise, I won't get an alpha channel for the um, for the compositing for the slap comp. And for the material of the environment, I'm just, I have the UVs because we did the UV project in polar mode for the dome. And I'm just loading the HDRI in a standard surface with an, with, to the emission color and set the emission to 1.5. Then I'm creating a physical sky because this emission won't really cast uh, nice shadows. So I'm creating a physical light, let's say. In this case physical sky and i'm aligning to the um, to the hdri where where the light source is so roughly here so i can cast some nice shadows and this background plate if we look at the render if this doesn't take too much so if i actually remove this slap comp preview you can see that this background plate will output the old out diffu diffuse and the shadows as you can see and i'm also outputting uh, an ao channel an ao uh, aov so i can really comp it um, comp some contact shadows between the the ground and the, the tires 
that, that way it will feel more integrated in my opinion so that's basically the setup uh, we can i can show you some of some tips on the materials but for now let's uh, go to the comp and so i'm doing a basic slab comp import and this will come with the beauty and some other channels that i'm not using but i'm mostly interested in the old out shadows that i can comp into my uh, backplate and the uh, ao then I'm loading the backplates and this comes from Polyeven. Some of the HDRIs come with backplates. I just search for some coherent environment for, for this truck. And I found this one, which comes with the HDRI and the backplate and a few backplates. And you know, as soon as you import the back uh, backplate, uh, it, it, if, it, if it doesn't have the same resolution as the render, some people are finding some crashes with it so i'm doing a size ref in here and blending it, blending it with the background so i don't have any issues of any crashing so but then i'm not actually using that backplate because in this case i removed the shadow so i did a shadow clean plate let's say and i'm loading that instead from there doing a basic color correction to the backplate and in here, I'm loading the the shadow, the old out shadows, as you can see, doing a channel extract and just getting the first one, doing a basic multiply so I can have more effect, and and in here, as you can see, I'm just reducing the value scale uh, because I'm loading that those shadows to the mask of the HSV adjust. Then I'm doing a multiply in here <coughs> that uh, where. I'm loading the ambient occlusion, I believe. Let me see. So yeah, I'm loading the ambient occlusion in here and doing a basic multiply. So as you can see, we will have more contact shadows. Then I'm just blending with the with the beauty, which is just this this uh, this um, track with the alpha channel. So. And as a mask, I'm using the... Um, I could have used in here the RGBA instead. That would work the same. But in this case, I am extracting the alpha channel and loading that as a mask to blend in the track. Just converting to RGBA and do the block end. So yeah, that's basically it. So as you can see, we have the shadows and uh, some of the contact shadows from the ambient occlusion. And we have uh, some shadows in here from the, the, those alpha vegetation cards, let's say. And somehow integrates with the environment. Uh, I just did the, the materials very quickly. It's not finished for, uh, at all. But I wanted to show you how I did these headlights, which I didn't use UVs. And it's a nice trick to know. So as a final tip, I'm going to show you how I did those. So basically... Let me see in here, where is that? Chrome, so last lights, I believe is this one. So since I don't have UVs, I created the, um, a texture with a ramp. So just repeating a ramp. And in here, in the material, I'm, I'm creating a material exposition. And, and from there, I am combining the X and Y components and using that as a texture coordinates in a material X image. And that will just do a projection along the Z, which is where this track is oriented to. So and between in between I'm doing a, a simple multiply const uh, multiply so I can repeat the texture. And I'm using that for for both um, for the displacement. You can use for normal also so it will be the same. And so yeah guys that's basically it hopefully you got some tips out of this and i will include the um, the environment setup in the patreon files as for the track i will leave it for other time where i will show you the material creation step by step so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time